we are discussing the topic refraction of light at plane surfaces we also discussed many topics regarding refraction that the refraction takes place when the light ray pass from one medium to another medium while the light ray passes from one medium to another medium as the speed of the light changes the direction of the light ray also changes and we also discussed that the extent of change of direction depends on one factor that is refractive index refractive index is nothing but the ratio of speed of light in vacuum to the speed of light in the medium refractive index is generally represented by n it depends on the medium and the wavelength of the light which is used and also we discussed critical angle as we discussed that when the light ray passes from denser medium to rarer medium the light the refracted ray moves away from the normal as the incident angle increases in the denser medium the extent of deviation from the normal increases at particular point of angle of incidence the refracted ray grazes to the interface of the two media and in this case the angle of incidence is known as a term as critical angle that is when the angle of incidence is equal to critical angle the refracted ray grazes along with the interface that means the angle of refraction is equal to 90 degrees if the angle of incidence in the denser medium is more than critical angle then the refracted ray will not move to through the rarer medium but again it will bounce back into the same medium this phenomenon is known as total internal reflection total internal reflection has many applications in our daily life we also discussed that it is useful in medical devices and optical fiber cable one more phenomena which we observe in our daily life because of the total internal reflection is mirage mirage is an optical illusion where we observe the water the water collection at far away point position from us when we reach that location we will not found any water this occurs due to the total internal reflection phenomenon because on a sunny day on a sunny day when the because of the hotness of the sun the surface of the road the hotness of the surface of the road increases because of this hotness the air column which is nearer to the road becomes hotter and as this becomes hotter it will become a rarer medium that is the air the layer of the air which is near the road becomes hotter and as it becomes hotter it will become rarer and the top layers of the atmosphere are somewhat denser when compared to the layers which are near near to the road and when the light ray that is the the light rays from the clouds passes from the upper layer to the lower layer that means they are passing from denser medium to rarer medium at certain angle the 
total internal reflection takes place and that will show the person who is observing the person who is observing from far away distance the shadow of the cloud that shadow will seem like the water collected at this point this phenomenon is nothing but mirrors this occurs because of total internal reflection as this the air column which is near the road acts as a rarer medium when compared to the air layers which are above the surface of the road thank you